Well, how is everybody doing today? Uh, it's a nice, awesome day, so I figured I would uh, get back at this after the snowstorm that we had. A lot of it has melted again, thank goodness. But today I'm hooking up my fuel system. I got I cleaned out my fuel tank. I got that all done. I got my Oasis pump all lined in. All the power lines are going through. She's all hooked up to toggle switches. I had to upgrade to a half inch fuel line because of my AEM fittings. They weren't, uh, the three, three eighths fuel line wasn't fitting on it. So I had to go a little bit bigger there at that piece. So. I'm hoping to have this running within the hour. I have to get some gas, an octane booster, just to help it. Because this thing has not actually been start and run since last September. So yeah, September of 2020 was the last time that this thing was ran. And this is now April 1st of 2021. So she's been parked and sitting for a while. So I'm going to throw some octane booster into her. I'm going to get some good gas to throw into it. I pumped out all the old stuff because it was all yellow. So I'm figuring that's probably half the reason why it wasn't firing. And I'm thinking that there's a lot of water mixed in with that as well. So. Uh, gas. A little bit of octane booster. We're going to get some uh, quick start into into the intake just to help it start that much more. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, I'm going to have to go and collect this stuff because I do not have any of this here right now. So I'm going to go get some gas, get some octane booster. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get this thing to fire today, guys. Okay, we're back at the car. We got ourselves some gas. We got a little bit of octane booster just for that little, you know, oomph to it. Um, I had noticed that my marine battery has gotten weak. So I went and grabbed a fresh one half of my car. That one's going to have to be charged before uh, the derby, but this will do for now. And last... But not least, we need some quick start. Now, with these three combined, a fresh battery, a gas tank that's been cleaned out, was going to get fresh fuel, octane booster, and some quick start. And if this don't start it, then I have something done wrong, obviously. But I'm hoping this will do. So. Let's get all this stuff put into it. Let's get it all set up and uh, cross our fingers and hope and pray that this thing runs. <laughs> well, this is where this video is going to end today. No go, no go. But anyways, now that I got myself collected a little bit, got myself figured out, um, we'll start. I tried out a different... Um, a different standalone harness and that didn't work out so i don't think it's that either i'm thinking it's either my fuel pump like i was saying she's putting in too much fuel pressure or my computer is shot which i'm going to take apart tonight and have a look and see what it's all about but yeah if if my fuel pump i bought well, tomorrow like i was saying i got one in here um it belongs to a buddy that ran my camry last year this is the tank to come out of his car. It still has a Camry fuel pump into it. And I know it runs and works. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to... Uh, probably, geez, there might be some ice in there or something. But I'm going to drain this out or whatnot, put some fresh gas into it that I put into that tank out there. And we're going to try this again because I know Camrys run off that pump because that is... So, that is the next thing which will be tomorrow. We're going to swap that in here see if we can get her to go. If that still don't work, um, I'm going to try my computer. I know we're to find another one right now. I won't be going to getting it right now because it's starting to be at the end of the day. <laughs> but we will definitely get that tomorrow if I can't get this fuel pump to work. If the fuel pump in that tank does get this car running, then I'm going to need a fuel pressure regulator for this pump. 
because I want to run this pump. I'm sorry, I like inline fuel pumps. I don't want, I don't like frigging around with the stock fuel pump inside of those tanks because it's a pain in the ass to hook up. And if it dies, then they're a pain in the ass to switch out. And I just, I don't want to mess with that. And if it comes down to it, and that's the only thing I can do, well, that's it. I'll just have to run a, a stock Camry fuel pump. But I want to run that one. My last two Camrys ran off inline fuel pumps. So I don't see this being a problem. But this is a bigger fuel pump than the last inline fuel pump that I had. So we'll have to try it and see what happens. Um, I fixed a few grounds, cleaned them up and whatnot, found a couple things. Other than that, everything seems fine. Um, the injector wiring, I don't see that being a problem at all. Ugh. Other than that, I'm, I'm stumped. I don't know. So anyways, guys, this is the end of the part one. No start, no go. We are definitely going to be trying again tomorrow as we're going to have beautiful weather. And we do have a couple more things to try. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Keep building. Stay safe. All right, folks. Here goes the moment of truth. We have the battery and everything all hooked up. Quick start putting the intake. <coughs> our gas is all put in with our octane booster. And our pump is running. And this first time it ran and she loud. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, buddy. That's loud. <laughs> oh. I got a small fuel leak. <laughs> All right. Um, turn that on, turn that on. Fans. Came okay, on. We don't really need that right now. We keep everything else on. And, uh, I guess we'll try to start her over. I believe this is my starter wire, one of them. Let's see now. Uh, oh, I'm probably not, not enough wire exposed. Hold on. I'll <laughs> oh, just trim it up a bit. Okay. All right, let's try that again. What? Bad connection? Oh boy, she wants to fire. I think it might work. I can give her a second, that's all. Long time, eh? So. Oh. Yeah. All right, so we got a tiny fuel leak. All right, give me a second. I got a little kick for you guys. I am so dumb. So we just tried to start this twice, right? So like I was saying, we got, oh my God, you guys are gonna die. Uh, we got fuel lines and everything hooked up, fuel put into it, might not. Uh, octane booster, we put some quick start into the, uh, into the uh, intake there and uh, she still wouldn't start and I couldn't figure out why I started checking all my grounds and everything and there's something I forgot and see it'll never run for a million years as I, <laughs> I forgot to plug the computer back in I don't think she's going wrong with it, the computer boss so uh just give me give me a minute <laughs> not saying that wasn't the problem but uh that'll be a start of the problem that's for sure so uh I'm gonna try this again. I still have a very small fuel leak. It is very small. I'm gonna have to uh, tighten that up way, way more. But uh, be all right for now. So, yeah, as you can see, she's spitting out a bit. So before the car fills up, try it. Oh, oh, oh. she's closed in. Maybe not. So, what next? Um, we checked for spark last time. We got spark. We definitely have spark. Um, huh. 
on. Now, I've been having a lot of questions about injectors, but I don't think I would have really hurt them, to be honest with you. I never touched any of the injector wiring, except for one wire. It was a purple wire, which I believe was an aftermarket, and I took it out of it, but I mean, it was literally just wrapped around uh, one of the injector wires. So I don't see that stopping it, especially now that I got the simplified harness. Um, I have to go around and check my grounds. Other than that, I don't really know. But we'll keep going. We'll see what happens. This might be a, a no, no start video yet. Part one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Still haven't gotten a run yet. Still haven't gotten that far. Um, oh, boy. I don't even know where to get to at the moment. <laughs> As you can tell with all the state that I got here. Um, I fixed up a couple grounds. Uh, da, 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 da. Jeez, I can't even remember what I did, boss. Kind of last here for a second, but I know the engine is getting fuel. There's pressure in the line, right onto the engine. Uh, I tried a second standalone harness. That is not the case. Uh, did her? Yeah. So I'm not really sure. I'm down to the last couple things. Either. My computer is shot. My computer is probably toast for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but he might be gone. Or this fuel pump is putting out too much fuel pressure for the engine. I do have the stock Camry fuel pressure regulator in there, but I'm not sure if that's working right. Now, I know that like you know it's not you know electric or anything like that is either going to work or don't and there's no reason really why it shouldn't work but i do have a spare fuel pump and tank for a camry that ran a camry last year so i'm going to try that and see if i can get a run off that because i can't see anything else i've checked all my grounds i did find these two yeah, very hard to see i'd say oh no not too bad those two wires go into the injectors because uh, i was saying that there was an aftermarket uh immobilizer i guess you'd say and i had yanked that out now i don't think that would be the problem because i had the same thing with my last camry and the camry before that and they never caused me problems now when i'm saying that i did leave it in but this is pretty much where I'm to. My coil packs are all in. Everything is tightened down. One of them, my back one, is pretty rough. But I'm still getting sparks. So I would imagine I would probably even be able to get a sputter out of her. Um, that's for the O2 sensor that I cut out of the manifold. I don't really see that being a problem. I don't need it. So I don't think that's it. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. Everything else seems to be fine. I, I'm not really sure. I'm going to relocate this ground. Uh, I've always put my grounds there and I've had a problem, but you never know. There might be the problem. Uh, but I'm starting to lean towards the fuel pump. I think the fuel pump is too much for this car. It's an Oasis uh, 75 PSI. Um, now, I don't really know how good they are. I obviously haven't used it yet. And from what I read on the description from where I bought it, it's good up for 750 horsepower. And this little old Toyota Camry might have 110 by now. So, uh, I'm starting to think that's what it is. I'm not sure. But uh, we're going to keep going. The day is starting to get short. The sun is gone by the other side of the house. So, I'm going to tinker at it for a little bit more, and uh, if not, stay tuned for part two. <laughs>